Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to test out some Dreamcast emulation on the new AMD Ryzen 3 2200G APU. So this thing's been fantastic for a $99 CPU. I just want to show you the specs that I'm working with here. Ryzen 3 2200G, stock clock, 3.5 gigahertz. This is a quad core CPU. I do have eight gigabytes, dual channel, 3000 megahertz RAM. And for the GPU, it's the built-in GPU. It's the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So I'm going to show you here. Vega 8. Not trying to hide anything. So I have tested a few Dreamcast emulators. One of my favorite is Null DC, but there's a lot of glitches here and there because it hasn't been updated in a few years. It runs perfectly on here, except for the glitches that are known with that emulator. So today, we're going to be messing with Demuel or Demule, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to be launching all of my games through Big Box. I'm going to go ahead and start that up now. So if you're not familiar with LaunchBox or Big Box, I'll leave links in the description to their website. There's a free version, and then there's a paid version. The paid version allows you to use Big Box, which I'm using here. Best front end for Windows, hands down. So I got a lot of emulators here, and in the past, I have made a few videos on PSP, PS2, GameCube, and SimU, which is the Wii U emulator. Today, we're gonna be testing out Dreamcast. I'm just gonna go right in here. First game I wanted to test was Shimu. Let's get right into it. We can launch it directly from within here. I'm using a different theme. I love this theme. This is not the stock big box theme. You can download it from their forum, install it really easily. We're gonna now you can go widescreen with this 16.9, but I'm gonna leave it at 4.3. You can also set up a stretch if you like it. I like 4.3 and that's what I'm going to be using here today. I'm going to fast forward a little bit until we get into some gameplay, show you how this performs. FPS is listed in the top left hand corner. Alright, so here we are, I got past that first 10 minute cutscene. This is my favorite part about the game. What you know about that end of glow? Timex, baby. It runs great. So with Null DC, the other emulator I was talking about, there's a lot of really? facial glitches. We don't see any of those here. The first cutscene gameplay, you know, it's rendered in real time. Hi, it looked great. Man. Sound is on. I'm going to skip past me? this little girl who watched a cat die. Promise not to tell my mommy? So I've already sat here for about 15 minutes just getting to this point. I'm not going to sit here any longer. The game is running great. I have noticed a little stutter when you turn a corner real quick, and it's not all the time. Every once in a while, you'll see it. Maybe here? No, not here. There we go. That little stutter. And now that that's loaded up, if I go back to that spot, it's not there anymore. But this even happens on my i7 with a 1060 GTX, and that has way more power than this APU does. So it's got to be in this emulator. Other than a few stutters here and there, you shouldn't have any trouble playing this game with the 2200G. Next game I want to test is Ready to Rumble. Might as well do it. This is a well-known Dreamcast game. Let's see how well this one performs. I will have to go in and turn the music off, but I'll leave the sound effects on. I just don't want any copywritten music coming up. I'll go through the settings real quick. So I've had really good luck with emulation on this APU. I mean, it works wonders. It runs PS2 perfectly. It runs PSP perfectly, GameCube, Wii. And it even runs some Wii U games at 60 FPS. Um, without an overclock at all. Now I was able to get this up to 3.9 gigahertz, but right now we're just sitting at 3.5 with the stock GPU speed. And it works great, as you can see. I mean, 60 FPS, sounds dead on. This is one of the best Dreamcast emulators out there. There's a few. Um, 
like I mentioned, Null DC is awesome for beginners. It's easy to set up. A lot of stuff just works in there, but there are graphical glitches in some of my favorite games. So I've moved over to this. Ready to rumble runs fine, so we're gonna back out of here. Next one we're gonna test will be Power Stone. Give me that power stone, dude. Out of here. So as you can see, Power Stone runs great. I've also tested Power Stone 2 and it runs just as well. We'll test out a few more here. Let's test, um, we'll go with Crazy Taxi 2. So I had to turn the sound off for this game also. I was never really into crazy taxi games, but we'll see how we can do here. Stop burning out. Hey, 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 you're going the wrong way. Follow the arrow. Make a right. I know. Don't worry. Hey, taxi. Looks really good. Seems like it's playing all right. 60 FPS at least. Hey, let's go. Grab another fare here. On, stop spinning out. Go. Little stutter there. Not bad though. Just gonna drive around a bit. Try to get up the speed. See how it works. Every once in a while, when I hit a big bump, I do notice a little stutter in the FPS. I think it has more to do with the emulator than the hardware itself, though. Wait up, where you going? Yo, wait up, don't refuse me. Seems like it's working well. Wait up, where you going? Wait up, where you going? Wait up, where you going? Let's go with something else. What is it? Project Justice, another fighting game. I actually enjoy this game a lot. I'm gonna hit this little girl, but I'm gonna have to. She's gonna tear me up. Come on, Momo. So it runs Project Justice really well. 
And finally, we'll go with Sega GT. All-wheel drive in this Legacy B4. I used to play this game for hours upon hours. Clean 60 FPS, looks great. Got other cars on the track right now and we're still hitting that full frame rate. So overall the Ryzen 3 2200G handles emulation really well. Dreamcast look great. Now that was just one emulator. There's several out there on the market right now. The two best that I know of are Demule. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's what I've been saying anyway. That's the one I just showed off and there's Null DC. Now some games don't work well in Demule. You'll have to try them in Null DC and vice versa. But you should be able to run hundreds of Dreamcast games on this system with no trouble at all. If you're interested in checking out my other videos, I did one on PSP, Dolphin, and PS2 emulation. I also did a dedicated video on Wii U emulation using SimU. I'll leave links in the description, and they should be on screen now. You can click on this even if you're on mobile. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to build a PC like this, I'll leave links to Amazon down below. And I also have a build video coming out very shortly. I'm just waiting on one more part. Should be here in the morning and I'll make the video. So keep an eye on the channel for that. And like always, thanks for watching.